Hey guys, welcome to the SHS Claw Review of Justice League. So Justice League is about the world's superheroes, you know, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, The Flash, Cyborg, all uniting together for the first time to defeat this threat from outer space. For the most part, I thought this movie was really fun. I really don't like that a lot of critics and people are tearing this movie apart because I thought there was a lot to love in this movie. I thought it was really entertaining. I thought it was really well done. For those of you who don't know, the production of Justice League had a huge speed bump in about halfway through the filming of it. Their original director, Zack Snyder, had to step away after experiencing a family tragedy and not being able to focus on finishing a movie with heavy CGI and focus on his grief. So they had to bring in Joss Whedon, the director of the first two Avengers movies. So Zack Snyder finished the principal photography and they were just starting to do all the CGI and all the post-production and all that stuff. But then he stepped away, but then Joss Whedon came on and they decided to do a ton of reshoots. They basically reshot like the entire movie. They like kept in like the action sequences they already kind of completed, but they reshot pretty much everything that Zack Snyder did. And I honestly think it was for the better because this movie was way more lighthearted and way more fun than any other DC movie that Zack Snyder has made. This movie was actually a really good blend of two directors. He had Joss Whedon's witty scripts and witty uh, character interactions, and you had Zack Snyder's genius action filming. This movie has a lot of humor in it, and I actually thought it worked for the most part. I liked it a lot. I thought it was very funny. I think the biggest strength of this movie is when the characters are interacting. I think the character interaction is probably one of the best parts of this movie, if it's not the action. The action is unbelievable in this movie. I think it's really well done. Um, again, the character interactions is really well done. I think it's if you just want to see some new characters interact on a screen and bounce off each other really well, I think you'll enjoy this movie. Every actor in this movie really has a good performance. I don't think anyone really had a bad one. I think everybody really did a good job with their, their acting in this movie. So honestly, I have no complaints. I think the standout character was honestly Jason Momoa's Aquaman. I think he... Really, he really surprised me. I thought it was really funny, but also wasn't over the top, so he was good. Now, one of the negative things about this movie is the villain, Steppenwolf. He is, for the most part, I thought he was a pretty good villain. Unfortunately, the CGI to make him look the way he looks, looks very cheesy. And you can really tell just by looking at it, they did not have enough time to quite finish the CGI in this. He does not look that good. You... You can really tell that they were like really rushing to get this one done because he doesn't look that good. It looks honestly like a video game cutscene when he talks and that's not a very big highlight of the movie, but it also doesn't take too much away from the movie. I, I mean, I was fine with it. I'm like, okay, yeah, they had a lot of production issues. They were kind of rushing to get it out for the original release date. So, you know, whatever, the villain doesn't look good. He's not even really that important. It's more about the heroes anyway. So. I think as long as you're not like going into the superhero movie hoping you get a badass villain with great CGI, you'll be fine. Another criticism I have of this movie is they don't give Batman a whole lot to do in this movie. I mean, he doesn't have any superpowers, so it's hard to make him very useful when they're all fighting an alien, but I feel like they could have given him a little bit more to do than what they did, but ultimately I thought Ben Affleck's Batman was really good. I think he's probably like the second best Batman ever. My favorite's obviously Christian Bale because he's he's the best, but I think Ben Affleck's Batman is really good and I think he really did something good with the role again. Overall, I'm gonna give Justice League a seven out of 10. I think it's a really fun, really entertaining movie. I think it is very, very undeserving of all the harsh criticisms it's getting. I think you should definitely go out there and see it. I think it's a really good movie. I recommend it. Spend that $10. I know movies are really expensive now, but it's worth it. Trust me, get out there and see it. All right guys, thanks for watching my review. Um, hope you liked it and I'll see you next time.